Republican presidential candidate Senator Marco Rubio suspended his campaign for the GOP race Tuesday after an almost year-long pursuit of the nomination. Rubio's last stand came Tuesday night in his home state of Florida, where he lost to frontrunner Donald Trump. But after tonight, it is clear that while we are on the right side, this year, we will not be on the winning side. While it is not God's plan that I be president in 2016, or, or maybe ever, and while today my campaign is suspended, The fact that I've even come this far is evidence of how special America truly is. The candidate, initially seen as one of the party's strongest contenders to win back the White House, found himself overshadowed by Donald Trump, whose strong showing in early primaries upended the Republican race. Rubio kicked off his campaign in Miami in April of 2015. His appeal among young Republicans, as well as his Cuban background, fostered his message of creating a new and more diverse generation of GOP voters. And before us now is the opportunity to author the greatest chapter yet in the amazing story of America. But Rubio's campaign failed to catch fire with a wide swath of Republican voters. From the beginning, he failed to stake out a big enough portion of the Republican field, as Ted Cruz fought hard for the evangelical vote, and a large number of establishment candidates divided up the non-Trump vote. He was also unable to distance himself from a number of bipartisan policy positions around immigration and trade that are unpopular with parts of the GOP base. I led the fight against his legalization and amnesty bill. And, and you know, there, there was one commentator that put it this way, that, that for Marco to suggest our records the same it is like suggesting the firemen and the arsonist have the same record because they're both at the scene of the fire. Because you used to support a path to citizenship. So did you. Well, but you changed the book yeah. and the book. <laughs> so did you, Marco. You wrote a book where you He also often came off as scripted, using the same speech or quote multiple times. This became a problem for Rubio when he was confronted by Chris Christie on a debate stage. And let's dispel once and for all with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. This notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing is just not there true. There it is. He knows exactly what he's doing. There it is. The memorized 25-second speech. Well, that's the, that's there the it is, everybody. This campaign... But Rubio's biggest challenge in the campaign came from Donald Trump, whose populist campaign has resonated with disenfranchised voters in key states Rubio needed to win the primary. After losing all of the early primary states to Trump or Cruz, Rubio decided to go negative in his campaign against the frontrunner. He's always calling me Little Marco. And I'll admit, the guy, he's taller than me, he's like 6'2", which is why I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who's 5'2". Have you seen his hands? While that move got him more time on TV, it backfired with many voters. They handed Rubio defeats in every contest except for Minnesota, Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico. With the race for the GOP nomination now in a three-way heat, the question remains if the establishment will be able to rally around its only remaining candidates of John Kasich or Ted Cruz, or if Donald Trump will lead the party in the general election.